once the game starts. Michael Leary will take the opening face off with the Wild taking a right to left avenue on the radio side of our broadcast. He'll go up against Tanner Carroll. Wild in green, stars in white. We're off and running here in Austin. Sit back and enjoy. You can feel the pace as Shea has it at the left point. D to D for Alex Petrovic. Winds and shoots and a big block from Patrick Curry. That one hurt. Petrovic back with it. He'll come again and Curry gets to it once more. Two amazing blocks from Patrick Curry. My heavens, incredible stuff from Curry. Heroes are made this time of year and that could be one heroic play to remember, make it two. As now a chance right in front and McIntyre shuts down Jacob Peterson. Larceny early from McIntyre. And I would open another chance for Beckman at the circle once more and it opens there. Kaspik steals away with it at the left point. Hick gets through traffic, a save and a rebound. Hedobin with a wonderful save on Beckman again. His last performance, January 22nd in Manitoba. He went five for eight to start that game and was then pulled. He's been great tonight, but he doesn't get to that one. It's Mike O'Leary with a rebound in front. He goes behind the shoulder of Hedobin and up under the crossbar. And that is called taking advantage of an opportunity. Mike O'Leary to the top line and to the scoreboard. We'll see it again on AHL TV. O'Rourke, a great wrist shot. O'Leary kicks it out of his skate and takes a nice bounce off of Petrovic and he shovels it past Hedobin. An excellent start for the Wild who have now scored first in eight of their last 11 games. It's 1-0 here in Texas. Looking cross ice, still waiting. Patan in front, O'Leary slams it off of Dobin and a pad save. Rossi to the blue line. Terrific puck movement here from Iowa. Right circle, Walker to the net, he scores! A power play goal from Sammy Walker, and Iowa has a quick two goal lead just over halfway through the first period. For the high rising rookie who just continues to turn heads and he scored from there before on the power play right handed shooter at the top of the right circle and the Stars gave him space. Tough cookie to crack is this Stars penalty kill amongst the top three in the league. We'll drop it behind the net O'Rourke marches up the right wall. Walker with McKenzie coming on him squirms away gets it away to center. O'Rourke loses it Studenich has a man with him to the left circle Studenich scores. <laughs> Neutral zone turnover, and the Stars find the back of the net. It's 2-1, thanks to Marion Sudanich with a five-hole finish. So O'Leary will play the part of Stephen Fogarty here on this power play like he did on their first power play of the game. Now Rossi, Walker, Patan, and Hicketts with them. Wild win the faceoff. Patan's one-timer scores! A missile from the high slot from Nick Patan. And all streak long, Iowa has had an answer, and they have another one here tonight. A vaporizing blast by Nick Patan. Underway here in period two. And Tanner Carroll centers right off the hop. What a save, but they score. Tanner Carroll picks up the loose change. 21 seconds into the period, and it's a 3-2 game. Sweeney Beckman scoots it to the left point. Dakota Mermis holds it with... 34 to go on the power play. Schuster at the middle of the blue line. Left circle, Mermis. Across for Sweeney. Right circle and a glove save from Hadobin. On the way here for Iowa. And the Stars control the face off. Butcher at the middle of the blue line to the left circle. Carroll to the goal line. Left circle, Sudanich to the back door. They score. My heavens. That was a passing play. I have rarely seen all five players touching the puck. And Matei Blumel ties the game and grab the momentum back and maybe go to work late in the period. Stars win the faceoff. Caro sends one to the net. There's a rebound. They score. It's Matei Blumel again at that right post. And it's 4-3. Nick Patan in his own blue line gets it ahead to Sammy Walker. He's behind, but the puck gets away. It bounces at the net front, and Rossi almost gets there. Hick it to the backside. They score. It's Sammy Walker who stays with it. A beautiful pass by Hicketts and just... 55 seconds into the period, an equalizer from Sammy, who has his second. And now pull away. At the blue line is Hickett. To the goal line, it's Walker. Sends it in front, it goes off a sprawling star. And Hadobin keeps it out. Play here for the Stars. In crunch time, the game tied at four. Blumel at the right circle, and a save from McIntyre. Olofsson here, O'Leary wins it again. Walker to the net, a quick release, and a reactionary blocker save by Hadobin. Sweeney has Patan with him across the blue line. Sweeney waits. He almost found Walker off the bench. And now the other way, it's Ottenbright. He has to make a play on Damiani and does at the buzzer. 
And for the sixth time in the last seven games, we're headed to overtime. In overtime, teams will pass up shooting opportunities if they don't think it's a great chance because you have to keep the puck. Here's Matei Blumel tracking into the high slot. Blumel leaves it in front to Caro. They score! First shot of overtime, and it's a sealer. Tanner Caro makes it 5-4 the final. Well, a wonderful hockey game that had 